I'm gonna jump 10 today and then I'm gonna attempt to ride Zeke outside. It's still a little windy, but I haven't ridden him outside yet. I rode him yesterday in the indoor for the first time and he was great. It turns out right now it's about time for them to come off grass because we have to slowly transition them onto grass because they haven't been on it. So we don't want them to call and get a tummy ache. So I'm gonna jump 10. I'm gonna do him first and then I get Zeke and do him so that way I have more energy for 10 for jumping. So let's go get the boys from the pasture and bring them in. For the legs. Thank you so much for the legs. Okay, let's get your brother. Oh, nice tent. you think about jumping huh huh you we're gonna practice our fourth level test well some of it because you're more in shape than mom is so we'll figure that out when we get to it <laughs> my boots are so dirty oh my god let's put these on oh look at how handsome you are could you be any more handsome? Are you Zeke outside? Oh, you're so handsome. <gasps> Can you smile? Smile. 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 Come on, smile. Smile. Come on. Yeah, that's cute. Smile. Yeah, smile. <gasps> oh, that's a good smile. That's a good smile. So, welcome back to my first voiceover on a vlog. Um, in God knows how long, <laughs> this, uh, video from my Pivo ended up the sound for the first, like, I'm gonna say half of it just, like, stopped working. Oh, and he, he uh, screams here. <laughs> but just, uh, fixing my girth, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get on, um, my routine for warm-up is walking on a completely loose rein. Um, really trying to get him to stretch. And um, this is the first time he's jumped here since we moved. He has been to this arena once or twice, I think. But now that we've moved here, you know, it's kind of a little different. He's got a lot of change going on. So 
I went ahead and just walked him around. He was a little up this day, but we got it done. So then I spend roughly about 10 to 15 minutes warming up between the trot and canner and I will do transitions, really just trying to focus on getting him loose through his rib cage, getting him moving up to my hand from his hind leg. Um, there are a couple moments here where he looks a little off. Um, he's not off, but he was due this week to get his stifles and hocks done, but our vet had a death in the family, so she had to reschedule, so he actually got this done the following week, um, but he got alpha-2 injections in both hocks and both stifles, so he's feeling fantastic now, but there are a couple moments here where you will see his stifle basically locking. Um, it's not string halt. It's not shivers or anything like that. It's just his stifles when they're ready to be injected end up getting a little bit locky. So you'll see kind of that little bit of a stabbing motion there. So just trying to get him forward, get his back loose, make sure I can bend in both directions. I'll do leg yields. I'll do shoulder in, haunches in with him. Um, he is schooling fourth level movement. So since the last time you've seen us, we have been working on canter pirouettes. We've been working on canter half passes. We've been working on changes. So he's come so, so far. Uh, about a week here too before this he did have shockwave over his SI his back and his pole um, if you're new here he does have kissing spine it was not bad enough to have surgery we did try injections but I didn't notice a, a big difference there with him so um, what I found is really just working on hill work and getting him stretched and really just getting that back loosened um, as well as occasional muscle relaxers if he seems like he's tight or he needs them or if we have a really hard work I'll typically give him some muscle relaxers um, right after we're done riding I'll do like a little mix of uh, an alfalfa mash and some electrolytes and then I will put some muscle relaxers in there so that way he's uh, loose for, for the next day or the day after so he's not too super sore in his muscles. But I just wanted to clarify that just so I don't get the comments. Um, but he's not quite moving out as much in front. Um, I didn't quite feel it as I was riding because he is a very uncomfortable horse to ride so sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, while I'm on what's what's going on so that's why I love to get videos so I can see you know what I was feeling and and if there's anything that I can see from the video that might need some vet attention so just warming up over some jumps here I just put a filler there for a little teeny tiny warm-up skinny jump and he just trotted over it like a like a good old man so now I basically we hadn't jumped prior to this in a little bit since we just moved. So basically what I'm doing is I am, I had set up this one stride to one stride combination and I am going to go through and jump him over each fence individually from each direction. So that way he can see the jump. So that way he is um, set up for success when we do go through the full combination. But he's really, really doing so well. I'm just beyond proud of him. Um, whenever I film and post like where I've been, what's been going on, like basically filling in the gaps over the past year, year and a half or so, um, some, some crazy things happened. So I'm just so beyond blessed to still have him. And he's now my main jumper. Um, I did sell Renita back in August, but he has he has really stepped up his game. He's he's happy being the the only jumper. So we're actually going to a jumper show this weekend, and then the following weekend is the Queenie Park Horse Trials. But you can see as we're I'm asking for the changes, he's getting a little bit because he's anticipating it. He he knows what's happening. So um, as 
we school them more and as he gets more confirmed in them most of that will go away but he is still pretty green when it when it comes to the changes it takes a long time for for them to get the changes going but what i really like is that he is keen enough to know to switch the back lead first it just takes a minute for that right that front leg to to catch up but i would so much rather that than him be consistently late behind because that's way harder to fix <laughs> but for him i had started leg yielding him out into the change and that has really helped him quite a bit but i still lean forward and look down which throws him off balance but one thing at a time so now i think i'm going to go through the whole thing nope just didn't jump that direction. the pivo did lose me quite a bit so i'm sorry some of the jumps weren't filmed but it is what it is. So then after this, I think I'm going to go through the entire thing. But look at how good he is. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. He has just blossomed into such an incredible horse. And he's gone through so much. But I think I think we're kind of in our prime right now. He did just turn 10. 10 is 10. So yeah, now I'm going through the whole thing. And you can see he adds that little step in between. But you know what? That's all right. He just kind of, sometimes he just needs to, to take a minute to, to assess the situation. So I'm going to go back through and then we get, we get the full, the full one stride. And he was so good. Oh, look at him go. Oh, I'm so good. Got that change laid up front. And then I am circling here. And what I'm trying to do is leg yield him out. So I don't want him diving in the corners. So for me, I leg yield him out after every single fence. Just so he's expecting it. So the more you do that, the less they'll dive in the corner. So if they're expecting like, oh, she's going to make me leg yield out, they'll stop diving in the corner. And then we're going in the other direction. Miss that one but ugh, he's so good. So you can see in this corner, I leg yield it out again. And after this, I won't have to leg yield him out anymore. So now I'm going to go ahead and raise all the jumps up. I typically go in increments of two holes when I'm by myself. So I'll go up two holes on every single jump. I don't, don't ask me how how high this is i have truthfully no clue these are five foot standards so if i if i had to make a guess maybe three foot dish three three probably closer to three foot i would think eight five nine five maybe not quite a meter so i'd say probably about three foot Okay, so now those are raised. I'm going to go get back on. Um, I am so beyond happy at this barn. I did love my old barn, but the grass pastures weren't going to be ready. And since Zeke has EPM, I uh, wanted to make sure they got out on grass. So that way he could gain all that weight back because he lost a couple hundred pounds. So, yeah, that's, that's that. So now we're going to go back through and go through with the little bit higher fences our plan is to move up and get solid at meter 10 this year um he is pretty much for the most part a point and shoot it at the meter unless there's a jump that like looks super weird and then he's like oh i don't know i need to look at it first but he's pretty much a solid meter horse so we're going to move up to meter 10 the show this weekend we are going to do meter 10. it is a schooling show so I don't know if it'll be a hard meter 10, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. And then the following weekend at the Queenie Park Horse Trials, we are moving up to Novice. That was the plan last year, um, but we, he had an almost near-death experience, so we didn't go. All right, so you can see there he put that little chip right in the beginning because I leaned forward, um, causing him to go on the forehand, but he got us out of that really nicely. And you can see there he's trying to do that lead change, but his stifle locked, so he kind of hopped with that hind end a little bit. Um, it's just mechanical for him. He doesn't, it, it's just maintenance. It's just maintenance that we do.
So we go back through and then we get the striding. I ended up sitting back and he went through beautifully. Oh, and then we gotta do all of the praise and all of the lovings. Oh my God, he's so handsome. I just love, I swear. I, you probably get sick of me saying how much I love this horse and how proud I am of him, but truthfully, he is seriously just a miracle horse. This horse had such a rough life before he came to me. Um, you know, for those that don't know, I almost sold him. Um, I was terrified to ride him. He bucked me off like every other ride. All of my injuries, my back injuries are, are from him. He single-handedly shattered my confidence, but then rebuilt it back up to where, for the most part, I feel fearless. <laughs> I don't, I don't really second guess anything. I, I just, I just do. So he's just, he's such a good boy. Um, I mean, he's got kissing spine. He's got arthritis. He's got recurring uvitis in his left eye. So he is going blind in his left eye. Um, he had a pole injury on the track that we maintain now. He, what else, man? There's just everything. He just, he's allergic to just about every single freaking thing you can think of. So he's on allergy meds. <laughs> But he just, he loves life so much and he loves his job and he loves to come out and do all the things with me. So I, I just couldn't be more grateful. Um, we did transition him barefoot last August after he got colitis and almost died. Um, that is going to be part of my update. I've got videos. I've got all of that through that whole process. So I'm going to make one big long update video, but we did end up transitioning him barefoot because after that, after he got back, he had lost all of his muscle, all of his weight. And we just were, we just decided like pull his shoes and, and see if we can go barefoot. He's not going to be ridden anyway. So sorry, my phone's ringing Walgreens. My prescriptions are ready. So I think this is probably about three, six-ish. Um, so this is probably closer to meter 10. At least that one oxer is. I don't know about this one. I don't know. They're probably all different heights. I think that last oxer is a little bit bigger. I don't know about you guys, but I do not pay attention at all to, like, if the jumps are even. <laughs> Unless the trainer's there, I don't pay attention. But that first time through that, he didn't even think about it. He jumped it beautifully, and I just, you could see how happy I am with him. I did have somebody comment on one of my older videos that I praise them too much, to which my question is, how can there be too much praise? Sorry, my ch Zoe, enough. How can you praise, how can you, how could you even say that? Zoe, shh. How can you even say that? Like, how is there too much praise? I just, I, I, I can't comprehend. So now we're going to go through again. And he jumped it beautifully. Of course, it didn't get that last oxer. But then, you know, the whole long side of the arena, praising, hugging, loving. He honestly, like, he loves the praise. He loves to know he did a good job. He loves to do things right. He gets super frustrated when he does things wrong. So, or if he can't do something or he's trying to do something and can't do it. He's just, he's such an awesome dude. I'm just, sorry, I just love him so much. So now we're going to come back through again. And I don't know if I have his scoop boots on in here. I'd have to look. I don't think I do. So this is just him completely bare. So he's like fully transitioned. The only thing that we're waiting on, oh, what a good boy. The only thing that we're waiting on is for the fever lines to, um, to grow out. He's got fever lines from last year at the very end of July when he got a mystery illness that we have no idea, which again, I will put all of the information in the update video and go into detail, but... And then he had the colitis, and he was in ISO for six days at Mizzou, and we thought he was going to die, but he didn't, and I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed. But yeah, he's, this is, this is totally, totally raw feet. Well, not raw feet, but barefooties. 
Now watch this. I fucked that up. And look at how he got us out of that. Like, he is such an honest horse. He is such a saint. Like, he really does want to do good. And he does want to help me out. So, the fact that he covers my mistakes, even if it throws him off, is more than I could possibly ever ask for. So I think this is the last time I go through and we end on it because it's beautiful. But I don't think, yeah, it's what a good boy. But yeah, see, we didn't, we didn't get the last one. So that's 10. I hope you guys enjoyed watching him jump around in this combination. I love doing combinations and grids. That's like my favorite thing to do. I s that's typically most of what I school. I don't really school a ton of courses. Um, Especially because I didn't have the room. You I do have so the room good. here, so I'll probably start setting some up. But combinations and grids are where it's at. So now it's Zeke's turn. Um, the Pivo basically stopped filming. Stopped, like, tracking us. But it was, like, zooming in and out. So I really only have a very small amount of footage from this. And it's only in one corner. But I left it in. So I'm just going to put some music over it. And this was a pretty light ride. We did a couple movements from our fourth level test that we were preparing for a show for, which I did vlog. So that will be up after. There's a couple of videos before that, but that will be up soon. But yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Just hope that we're still okay You always pick me up and let me down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do, damned if we don't Damned if we give in what we want And I always pick you up and let you down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do
is a big baby.